Hello, great one. How are you today? I hope you are doing well. Our lesson today is model subtraction. It's very interesting. Let's start with grade one. Please, grade one, open your book, page number 115. Can you see this toy box, grade one? It has many toys. These toys were in this box. Can you tell me how many toys were in this box, grade one? Let's count up them. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and nine, and ten. We have ten toys in all. There were ten toys in this box. Interesting. So, again, grade one, the whole is ten toys. Okay, and then Marty like toys very much and she takes eight toys out of the toy box eight toys out of the toy box this one and this one this one this one this one this one this one and this one she takes all these toys out of box eight toys out of box again grade one let's count up them again one two three four five six seven and eight so the first part is eight we have ten toys in all so the whole is ten and the first part is the toys that taken away from the box again the first part is eight because we know that marty takes eight toys out of the toy box so this is the first part what about the second part what do you think grade one how many toys are left in the toy box how many toys are left in the toy box can you guess grade one we have only two excellent grade one we have only two so the second part is two again grade one we have two parts and the whole the whole always is the largest number here we have three numbers two eight and ten the whole always is the largest number at the beginning we have ten toys in all and then marty takes eight toys out of the toy box so the first part is eight the second part is what? We think about it and we find out that there are only two toys left in the box. Great grade one. Let's see the next page in your book, page number 116. Let's see this interesting example. How many balls do we have here in all? Grade one. Let's count up them. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and nine. We have nine circles in all. And we know the second part. How many yellow circles do we have in this part? Grade one. One and two. Excellent. In this part, we have only two yellow circles. What about this part? How many red circles do we have? Let's think about it again. The whole is nine circles. We have nine circles in all. The first part has two 
yellow circles. And what about the second part? How many red circles the second part should have? What do you think? Let's count up these red circles. Grade 1. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, and 7. So we have 7 red circles here. Like this. 7 red circles. So now if we add these two parts, we will get the whole. But when we miss one of these parts, we call that subtraction. We can subtract 2 from 9 to get the second part. So 9 minus 2 equals 7. Again, grade 1, the whole is 9. The first part is 2. The second part is 7. So, 9 minus 2 equals 7. Great grade 1. Let's see the next practice. In this table, the whole is 5. If the first part is 4, what do you think about the second part? If you have 5 counters in all and you have 4 red counters of them, how many yellow counters should you have in the second part? So, we will subtract 4 from 5. 5 minus 4 equal 1. Excellent grade 1. So, 4 plus 1 equal 5. That's right. Let's check again. 4 plus 1 equal 5. That's right. Let's see the next exercise. Here we have 8 as a whole. In the first part, we have six yellow counters. How many red counters should you have in the second part? Eight in all, six for yellow, and guess what? Did you say two grade one? If so, you are totally right. It's two. Let's check again. Two. Plus 6 equal 8 in all. That's right. Great grade 1. Let's see the next page on your book. Page number 117. Question number 3. The whole is 8. The first part is 3. So, 8 minus 3. How much can you guess grade 1? How many counters do we need in the second bar to have 8 in all? Again, the first part is 3. Let's put 3 in your head. 3 in your head and count up until 8. 3 in your head and... 4, 5, 6, 7, and 8. So we need 5 counters in the second part. Excellent grade 1. Let's see the next one. Here we have 7 in all. 7 in all. In the first part, we have 3 yellow counters. What about the second counter? How can we find this part? It's missing. Again, grade 1, you can put 3 in your head and count up to 7. So, 3 in your head, 4, 5, 6, and 7. So, we need 4 in the second part. Great, grade 1. Let's see the next one. Question number five. We have nine in all. 
In the first part, we have four. So, what the second part? How can we find that? Again, grade one, you can put four in your head and count up to nine. Four in your head, then five, six, seven, eight, and nine. We need five yellow counters. Great, grade one. Excellent. Let's see the next problem. We have four counters in all. The first part is one. What the second part? Can you guess grade one? Again, you can put one in your head and count up to four. One in your head and then two, three, four. We need three red counters in the second part. Great job, grade one. Excellent. Let's see the next page, grade one. Try to solve these problems by yourself. Stop the video. Try to solve them. And then, when you finish, you can check your answers here. 6 minus 4 equal 2. 5 minus 3 equal 2 also. 10 minus 5 equal 5. And 7 minus 1 equal 6. Let's see the next page here. Again, grade 1, try to solve these problems by yourself. And then you can check your answers here. This is your homework, grade 1. Again, stop the video and try to solve them by yourself. Then you can check them here. The same for page number 119. You can do it grade 1. Solve these questions and then you can check them here. That's enough for today grade 1. Thanks for watching. Goodbye.